coming up through that fissure and as it mixes with the cold water around it, it forms these schlaren. But uh, I'm not sure. It still looks like bubbles to me. The schlaren would be uh, above the bubbles where you get what they say is like a heat shimmer, uh, schlaren lines. Um, just watching as uh, the crude seems to be backdrafting a bit. The, the crude coming out at high pressure at from the kink was just backdrafting there for a bit. Thought maybe something was about to happen. Mm, I think it's just one of those things. Might have been one of the other ROVs backing up and the um, the eddy from its propellers might have blown the crude back towards this ROV. We can also see, uh, well, we were seeing in that pick that the um, one half of the retaining strap was still in place. Uh, the one half that the ROV removed, obviously been uh, put aside, but one half that the original half that they started cutting on seems to be still in place. Having somewhat of a break in the action here, um, the ROV has hung up its saw on the little peg. Uh, didn't record that. Sorry about that. That was almost comical as it tried to get the uh, little pink rope to go over the peg. They were having some problems with the buoyancy of the rope. Couldn't get it grappled in just the right way. Interesting point. Someone asked on the IRC channel how it gets power. Well, it is hydraulic, but it also has a 480 volt three phase power line that comes from the surface that runs the hydraulics. So, it, apparently, an electric motor that drives the hydraulic uh, lines, and that's run on a 480 volt three phase power. So, I just thought I'd share that info. Uh, this is actually kind of fun. I'm moving the screen around. This is uh, from the Millennium ROV website. Uh, sorry for the moving. Um, just demonstrating their ROV in action. This is what the ROV looks like. So, whoop, there we go. It's a big thing. It's uh, it's not tiny at all. So, thought you might like to see that.